Hey Kat, this is Mark. Hey, I'm going to go over three tips you can do today to help you bring more customers in. I know times are tough, so we're really just wanting to help businesses grow. So if at the end of the video you, you uh, find that we can really help you, reach out. We'd love to chat. Otherwise, you can take these tips and do them yourself. So let's just jump right into it. Uh, the first thing that we want to go over today is your content. Uh, you want to have at least 1,500 words of content in your whole page. Uh, you know, Google really loves content. So you want to have these buyer intent keywords throughout your these 1,500 words. And uh, we'll explain the keywords here in just a sec. So another thing that you want to do is, is name these pictures that you use as one of the keywords as well. Um, so, I mean, you, your site has a really good little layout. I, I really like it. Uh, if we just, you know, add a little bit more content and some keywords, you'd be perfectly fine. So, you know, if we, going over the next thing is, is your citation. So, as you can see here, this is what we call a map pack. So, typically, this is your goal to be on page one as a business, right? Um, so, because customers are typically going to choose in one of these sites in, in these business, and that shows up right here in this, this uh, area. So, uh, how do you get here? Well, these citations are your business name, address, and phone number uh, when registered through directories such as Yelp.com, Yellowpages.com, or even the Better Business Bureau. Um, Yelp is one of the big ones when created. It's uh, it creates a backlink to your page, and you know, going over these backlinks, um, this is the, the section down here underneath the map pack, which is called the organic section. Um, so the the um, the your backlinks and your keywords play a big part in how you're ranked down here. Um, for example, we did some of the work on the back end, and you know we use a system called uh, Arifs. So it gives you a basic idea of how your website's performing. Uh, this shows right here how many organic keywords you have and referring domains, and this is the number how many people are actually viewing your site. So you've got 108 keywords with you know 124 people link, linking back to your site so if we were to take a look at your your keywords uh, all season long here you're getting about 600 people a month looking for that that word alone um, now if we were to put that back into your in your content on your home page I mean there's gonna be a, a dramatic increase of people looking at your site um, all season long care you're getting about 80 clicks um, all season long maintenance about 40 and then you got these other big ones here so now we went ahead and took a look at one of your competitors so uh, fresh lawn mowing service in Houston these guys have about 1400 keywords and they're bringing in about 800 more people you know a month so if you were to look at it like what would what would that amount of people coming back to your site really look like for your for your business so um, going back to you know your your uh, your backlinks you know not all backlinks are, are created equal you know some some have the rule not to follow in which won't which in turn won't give you the the site power and at times it may take away from it you know other others may be spam it really just depends on on how you you uh, build out these backlinks and, and you know by going over these informational sites blog sites and, and creating information on your page but you know, again, then again, it's it's time consuming, and which is why businesses really hire someone to do this for them. So, uh, it also it creates a backlinks that gives you your site uh, search engine power, really. So, it's almost like a like a popularity contest in Google's eyes, and which is you know how how Google will in turn give you the authority to to come up on page one. So, you know, in summary, if if you guys really want us to save you the time and do this for you, we'd love to to help you guys out. So. Uh, simply reply back to the email. Uh, my my phone number is in there. Give me a call or or shoot me an email back, and we'd love to. We look forward to hearing from you. Um, again, my name is Mark, and we hope you found it informational. We'll talk to you soon.